Werewolf by Night, the MCU's first ever Halloween special in an homage to the Universal Monster movies for the 1930s, 40s and 50s, drops on Disney Plus Hotstar on October 7th and we had a chance to speak to one of its co-executive producers, Brian Gay. Check it out. One of you is a monster masquerading as one of our own. Uh, Brian, I just wanted to start off by saying, like, I loved it. It was great. <laughs> Great. And I had a, I had an absolute blast because also I'm a huge fan of Universal Monsters and I've been rereading the old Marvel Monsters comics and I think what was interesting about Werewolf by Night and Dracula, you know, even though they would occasionally cross over with Spider-Man and Midnight Suns mm -hmm. and all of that stuff, they were very much their own thing. And mm -hmm. I was curious as to where this particular show fits within the MCU. Sure. What does it mean in the MCU? I will say for this one, Werewolf by Night, what we enjoyed about it was actually making it feel like it's part of the universe, but not necessarily connecting it directly to everything. This feels like when you're looking at a painting and you know, you've got the main Avengers, let's call them in the center and over to the side, there might be a dark corner. And then you kind of start looking like, Oh, there might be a detail down there. There might be something hiding in the shadows and you start peeling it back. And that's where we think werewolf by night lives. This is definitely in a world with superheroes, the ones you know and love. It's definitely in a world where aliens come down from the sky but the whole um, idea for this was that there are things happening in the MCU that you don't even know about. It's like this, like all these monsters. And that's where we think uh, Werewolf by Night lives. Tell me this. How did you come about working with Michael Giacchino on this? Because am I right in thinking this is his first feature length directorial yes. effort? He's done shorts before, right? Yes, he's done some shorts before. But he, um, of course, had, had scored and composed many of our films. Um, yeah. He's an extreme talent. He's amazing. He's, yeah, he's a great guy. Um, and he had been talking one time in the offices, you know, I really like this character where by night, I would love to direct. And we all kind of looked around the table and said, oh, okay, Michael, Michael wants to do this. Like, how can we make this happen? Because um, we love working with him. And the at the same time, a serendipitous um, occasion came up when we were going to start making you know, a special, something that's a little unique, something that's different. Michael had an idea about this character. We put them together and it's just the collaboration of working with creative people that um, we've had the benefit of seeing in different capacities and saying, well, hey, why don't we try doing something different? And, you know, why don't you direct as well? And from there, it snowballed. We started talking about things that we loved about movies and classic monster movies and things we love from the comics. And lo and behold, we have Werewolf by Night. I mean, and, 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 you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm glad you said something different because the thing I picked up from, I think, She-Hulk and even Werewolf by Night mm -hmm. is that there is a sense of whimsy here, uh, which yes. I think is new and it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, question before I let you go, I'm running out of time, but oh, um, you've worked with Kevin Feige for a very long time, very closely with Kevin Feige. And yes. I guess there is this idea over in Marvel, you guys work very closely with great creatives and performers and directors and writers. But there is this notion out here in the world that, you know, Kevin Feige is like the guy who brings everything together. And I was wondering if you had a story in which everyone was kind of stumped. And I have this image of Kevin Feige walking into a room and Sherlock Holmesing everything <laughs> and just going, wow. That's the solution right there. Does that happen? Am I right? Am I way off? It does. Um, this is not a story I was there for. And it's, it's very short, but I remember on the third Captain America movie, they were right. working very hard trying to crack it. They were, the writer and director and, and our creatives were in the room talking about it. And Kevin apparently poked his head in and just said, hey, what if we did Civil War? Uh, I don't know what to do with that, but you guys can figure it out. And I closed the door and walked away. And lo and behold, it was, it, we had Civil War. Um, he's great. He knows, the, he knows storytelling in and out. He's an amazing person in that capacity. And he's also a big fan of the comics, worked on all the movies. Um, Kevin is an incredible storyteller and leader. And every once in a while, he just has his idea. I'm like, of course, that's a Kevin Feige idea. It's great. That's good to know. It's nice to know uh, that we're not way off base. Um, <laughs> Brian, that's my time. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. And congratulations on Werewolf by Night. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. Thank yeah, you. I'm so glad time. you enjoyed it. That was Brian Gay, co-executive producer of the MCU's Werewolf by Night. You can watch it on Disney Plus Hotstar on October 7th. Let us know what you think once you've done. Sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other YouTube videos. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. You know what to do.